So here's number 27, and we're asked to take the derivative of this function. Don't be intimidated by theta, which is that zero with the horizontal line through it. Theta behaves exactly like x does. So we would say this is the derivative of the f function with respect to theta. This is a linear term, 4 times theta. So when you take the derivative of a linear term, you just get the coefficient minus 5 times the derivative of the cosine of the sine of theta would be the cosine of theta. Now to extend the problem just a little bit, what if this was a tangent problem and it asked us to find the tangent of the curve at um, theta equals, let's do uh, pi over uh, 3. Okay, if that was the case, then we need to find the slope at that point, and the slope would be f prime of pi over 3, which would be 4 minus 5 times the cosine of pi over 3. Since the cosine of pi over 3 is a half, this really says what's 4 times 5, or 4 minus 5 times a half. So that'd be two and a half. This would be uh, one and a half. Okay. So our slope is one and a half. We would need our point. Our point is going to have a an x or a theta value of pi over three, and it's going to have an output value of um, four times pi over three minus five times the sine of pi over three. This one's getting a little bit hairy, but that's okay. Um, that means that our point would actually be uh, pi over 3 comma, would that be 4 pi over 3 minus sine of pi over 3 is roots of 3 over 2, so we'd call this 5 roots of 3 over 2. Yuck! Okay, so at this point we've got our slope, and we've got our point, and our tangent takes this form. y is equal to a slope times... I'm going to call it theta minus, usually we use x here, minus input value plus output value. So our slope was 1.5. Our input value was pi over 3. And our output value was 4 pi over 3 minus 5 roots of 3 over 2. Okay. So not the prettiest example, but there's an equation of a tangent line.